Welcome to a Team Bubba podcast. I'm Stevie, and today is a follow-up video from our last one, where we'll be discussing some of the comments and feedback received from Kim's IPTV streaming. Today we have Larry, Barry, myself. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Hi all, welcome to this week's podcast. Today's date's the 29th of April, 2022. How are you doing, everyone? Oh, it's okay, TV. guys. Hey, yeah, all, right. all good. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, lovely inside doing a podcast. Great. Oh, yeah, it's nice, and it's the weekend. <laughs> it's a weekend. But it's a Friday for a change. We usually do these at long, well, back end of the weekend, don't we? So mm. bank holiday, holiday as Monday. well. Yeah, oh, beautiful. well, it's all right for you off. I've got to work, so. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, so um, this week's podcast then. So we are, we could call this a follow-up video. Uh, we've had quite a bit of feedback. Um, some of it's to do with personally how people have been affected um, by our topic from last week, which was about the IPTV uh, streaming from Life Force, Kim Gogun's little baby that she's uh, milking from. So we've had comments and some good feedback. But um, before we get into this further, we really would appreciate if you could like our videos um, and also comment. Um, we're very open. We don't screen our or hold back anyone's comments. If anything does get held back, it's all to do with the YouTube algorithm. So if any comments or if anything's affected you by what some of the things that we've been talking about, please do share it with us. There's so many people out there would also like to hear from that. And of course, if you could also subscribe, that'd be great. Yeah, definitely. So from last week, I mean, one thing I wanted to say is that this kind of popped out of nowhere um, I was bringing up this subject and it was purely because of what was said on Chris Rice's show that Kim clearly come out. I mean, we didn't really know how she was operating this TV thingy that she's got, but she admitted that she uses IPTV and then that kind of triggered everything from there, wasn't it? Yeah. And yeah. of course, one comment that I thought was quite cool this week was actually reminding us what IPTV kind of is in the background. Do you remember that comment, Baza, about the um the, what, Cody? the one that was left on the Yeah, the one that was left on the YouTube. Yeah, he was talking yeah. about um it's kinda of like a repackaged Cody, wasn't it, that people used to use what, for legal streaming. Yeah, if if she is using that then I highly recommend nobody to buy that because that is absolute garbage. Garbage. I mean, I, I, I used to, like I say, years ago, I used to use Codium, and I'm talking sort of, I don't think, I think I used it when it was issue 17 or, uh, sorry, not 17, 14 or 15 or something like that. And it's, I think it's somewhere up in the 20s now. Um, I stopped using it years ago um, because the feeds were so unreliable and I didn't think that it had improved anymore i still think all the feeds were uh, so hit and miss it's ridiculous and these were available for free on a, a program called cody um again they're not they're not totally illegal but they're not totally legal either um just very questionable very highly questionable um but the quality of them is, is, is disgusting if you're getting it for free you won't have an issue with it i don't think because you can't complain but when you're paying yeah. somebody, and we found out from an email today, didn't we, that, uh, oh, was that in the podcast as well, where they're charging, to, she's charging 20 odd dollars, isn't she? That's right, a yeah. Month, month, didn't they yes. say they got three tiers? Yes. Um, or was that another one? That no, another you're right. One. That, that, that was the other email, one, yeah. I think, wasn't it? That was the other, the email that we got from the um, lady that the 
the husband, uh, they're, they're just going through a divorce. It's just about to finalise purely because of what is happening with Kim. Um, and how yeah, well her done, Kim. Follows her. Well done, Kim. Yeah. Pat yeah. yourself on the back for that one. Yeah. What hat you, was you wearing you just... for that one, Kim? Wasn't it? Yeah. Disgrace. Yeah, yeah. Really nice person you are, Kim. I can't believe um, that. It, it, I mean, it's, it's broken up a family, hasn't it? At the end of the day. Exactly. It's and and it's disgrace. It, it see people. I know we we've always sort of focused on, um, you know the. the the scamming side of it, because there's tons of evidence there that we've come across and we've shown it in our Facebook groups and in our videos. But the bit that's missing, and that's why, you know, we wanted to do this video today, is people's experiences, how it's affected them, not just in the pocket, but mentally and what it's done with their families and friends. Yeah. Well, we've been on, we've been on the other side, haven't we? We know exactly. how crazy, yeah. the, th the crazy things we believed. Yeah. And we really did believe them. Not everything we were told, but a lot of it we did. And when yeah. we look back at that, that's embarrassing. Think I think that we could believe such bullshit. <laughs> when, but when we started this, the list of things that, she, the list of lies and the, um, the role she played were quite small. <laughs> And as time's gone on, um, it's unbelievable. The lies, we've got a massive list of the lies she's told and the mm. roles that, that she's actually doing now. It's, I don't know, it, it's more unbelievable today than it was back then. And it's purely well, because of the constant lies and changes and, and trying to predict things like, and like I think there was one she did in one of her updates where she said on the 24th of um, May there was going to be some kind of major shift and there's going to be loads of energy coming to the earth, which, you know, I, look, I'm, I'm not sceptic of anything like that. But for her to cash in on that, because that's what she's doing, mm. she's, there's a, you know, I think what she said was something like a major, a major earth and cosmic energetic upgrades on the way on the 24th of april and her sidekick who's got is probably he's definitely an upgrade from tank that's for sure she was kind of saying well how, how would that affect people you know how's it gonna are people gonna feel it are people so there's no way you can prove any this stuff that's the thing but it's just another one to add to the list of lies what i would call lies because or oh, it might not be a lie but the thing is is that she's what is she saying? Is she saying that she's the one that's causing it? But one thing I do think she did say is that it came from the Universal Council, that they're the ones that are pushing this cosmic energy towards Earth. Hmm. Yeah. I think, boys, I don't know how much work, probably a lot of work involved in this. So I think we do need the help of ex-members. I think one day we should make a do a whole podcast and just go through all the crazy crap she has come out with over the years like list them as many yeah. as we can try and remember off the top of the mint top of her heads yeah hopefully yeah. people will put some cuts get in the comments if you've followed kim for any number of years or even months just put in the comments the crap she's come out with and one day we'll do a a whole show and we'll just go through them one by one and just think my god it's just endless and i mean yeah. let's try and remember a few now like really old ones going back four or five years um i mean when trump won oh. when yeah. trump won the election she, she claimed her and tiny claimed that they because they predicted that um hillary would win didn't they and then yep. when Trump won, on the very next show, he said, he claimed that Kim said um, they changed the the voting machines right at the last minute yeah. because the, the original oh, ones yeah. were rigged. So they changed them. <laughs> so that's convenient. how he got out of that, that one. How convenient. To be honest, mate, that's a pure, perfect example of what, what they actually do without even mentioning any more. I'm, I'm going to, but it, that is exactly what they do. They make a claim that can either never be proven or 
if it doesn't happen, they've got a reasonable excuse as to why. It's a bit, a little bit yeah. like the, um, you know, the DNR scam. Mm. You know, that, that usually was going to happen on a Monday where the financial crash was going to happen. They were going to force through this new monetary system. Everybody would become rich overnight. And everybody, all those that had invested or had money stolen, hoped by the following Monday that it would all, money would come flooding back into their bank accounts. And every Monday, Tuesday, there was always an excuse as to why it didn't happen. There was also That's... lies in that where there was, I mean, Tank was a big push of this. And this is why I was really surprised that Kim pulled him in. Because every single one of these calls they used to do, like you said, every week would be, right, looks like we're all going to get paid next week. All those that have got Dean Art, um, Dong and Zims, yeah. they're going to give you one for one. So, okay, I've got a hundred trillion Zimbabwean dollar note. Yep, you'll get a hundred trillion for that. We're going to do some exchange next week. I've been told by, what was it now? general something that we're all going to we're going to exchange next week we're all going to go through this bank and we'll you know don't worry you're not going to get uh hijacked or and the cabal are not going to attack you we've got security on site and it was so good you know, these people were like as time went on after like a year you'd think this has been happening every week for a year <laughs> this something's not right you know i have to spent yeah. five grand <laughs> on this currency Mm. And and this this is what they they've all been doing. And Kim has been she knows what they've done. She knew what Dan Lutz had done exactly the same thing with Swiss Indo. Yeah. <laughs> but she pulled him in and been using him. Yeah, she I don't have... know if she did, did she? That was more tang. Well they had um they had plenty of calls which on the Speak Project thing, which they were discussing Kim, and there was also Thomas Williams was on two in two video interviews with Dan Lutz and Tank, and he was he said he was basically there because um, to, to to go through the the, the things they've been working on with Kim. Now, if Kim Kim, you wouldn't want your name anywhere near them guys, would you? If if you were so in in a position where you know love and you want the best for the planet, why would you want these scam artists? You know, un anywhere near your name, you wouldn't. I think, I think that's it. You wouldn't, would you? No. Well, that, and then they you... used to do a show every night, didn't they? Because Tank <laughs> fell asleep yeah. one night. Did he? Tank, Tank, <laughs> Tank. Oh, Tank's fell asleep. Oh, God, that was brilliant. They really hammered him out, though, didn't they? They really did. They had a bit of a following, didn't they? And they, they just used to hammer these podcasts every night. They end, done, every night. And was didn't like, they do man. something like three hundred nights without without um, missing one? Something like that. I think you're right. I mean, we've yeah. only got to go through some of them to dig out some of the crazy <laughs> crap she's claimed. Because every night uh -huh. they would come out with something, wouldn't they? I remember one that I actually captured and and um, video. I just thought oh, I cover just this little bit and take a snippet of their you know their video, and he was saying, "Yep, Kim spoke to Kim. We've won, everybody. We've won. The cabal finished, and on all this, and that was like a year and a half ago. You know, <laughs> that was on Dan Lutz's show, and that was from Tank. You know." Yeah, we've all who saved. To, well done. Who used to say we're winning heavily? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many times we yeah, heard yeah. that? Yeah, winning we're heavily. winning heavily. And the, um, can't say nothing. Not can't tell you it's operational. <laughs> <laughs> but we're winning heavily. Before we move on to that, I, the Dan Lutz thing. Do you remember the dance he did to the music <laughs> when he was that oh. intro to his? He was sitting there with his. Was it dyed hair black or was it red or thing? I can't remember. Oh. He was sitting there like as if he was. It's been every on... colour, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought there were one where he had to get the white roots and red hair or something. It was like, what on earth oh, are you doing, man? Yeah. <laughs> he ain't got a mirror in his house. Oh, God. Yeah, so these um, these these predominant lies, um, I think the one that really sticks in my mind about Kim is when she said that the the uh, Universal Council sprayed anti-Zika virus yeah. 
into the chemtrails. Yeah. So the chemtrails that you, that they're putting out, they the, 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 they're stuck in the top. Tank were flying his biplane. His World <laughs> War Two <II laughs> plane above them, <laughs> dropping it on to just neutralise everything. So don't worry, tank's got it sorted. Yeah, they saved the world. Yeah, well done. Well but done, the, Kim. The, the only time that I think they've said they've used this kind of alien technology is when they send their pulverising government agency computer servers. <laughs> yeah, they fry, they fry the servers, but they can't fry Team Bubba Fisher-Price oh, laptops. No. no, they can't do ours. They can't do Fisher-Price. We've had some accusations, haven't we? I mean, we've been called out all sorts. I mean... I know we had, we had uh, somebody had a bit of a dig at us this week, didn't know what they call us the the short yellow bus crew or oh something yeah. they call us. That's it. <clears throat> and, and which is Wind which is quite a cruel intent, you know. Uh, it's, it's it's not really nice because they're, they're aiming they're comparing us with yeah. people with disabilities and they're yeah. making jokes about us licking windows and having helmets on and banging his head against the windows. So again. Yeah. These people are here to save the planet and make things mm. make the world make the world a better place. But yeah, they're quite happy to compare us and ridicule actually people who have got disabilities. Yeah, which well, another thing tiny that always say thing. that we eat eat the stereo foam or something, whatever. Yeah, the stereo foam. Yeah, the stereo foam. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, nice, nice man that. That tiny, and he well, he's always been like that. He called us. What did he? He kept used to, used to always use the word, and it used to make me cringe. Retards. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that? He's, he used to say yeah. it every week. Rolled I mean, off his if, tongue a little bit too easy. Exactly. Too. I, I mean, if you was Kim again, you say you cannot say that stuff. If you're representing me, you cannot say that. It's not nice to 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 use them words. You know. This yeah. comes from the same mouth of the, the woman who. Um, publicly said that, that we were um, um, get get a rid of um, children. Um, yeah. It, Crimes. It, was, it was a public mm. thing was this and I was absolutely disgusted with her because I, I know it's yeah. not true and, and these guys know it's not true what what we do. We, you know, we're normal people. We're normal people. We just, just that's not how, how we get on in life. Um. So for we, somebody to come out and accuse somebody else of that, who is meant to be there for yeah. the best of humanity? Yeah, they no. they use those Pro- provide the evidence, Kim. Exactly. Yeah. You know, this is what exactly. two and a half years now, probably longer than that yeah. since you <clears throat> made that claim. Where's this, the this evidence? Is, isn't this this is the, the sort of the plan of this of this podcast, isn't it? To um, announce what we're going to look at doing or what we're planning on doing in the future. Yeah. yeah, we could touch on that if we want now. I think we should. I think I think because we, mm. we're going to be asking people for help. We're going to be asking for people for their comments. Well, uh, that's and, going to be about the, the victims, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We're just absolutely. going to provide the platform for people to come forward yeah. so then it helps stop other people coming along and getting sucked in. Because I think... I um, think Correct me if I'm wrong, but the reason we did this is because of what we had. It, it, it made us do it. It kicked us into action because of what happened to us. Hmm. But the driving force from that point then was to get others out of the same situation. And I think the thing that we've we've found is that people aren't strong. Some people aren't strong. Like like we we didn't realize actually how strong we were. We. Um, I've spent so much time and so much effort into uncovering and researching what these people are doing that the aim is to just help everybody. But we know other people can't do that. They won't do that. A lot of people feel guilty or feel ashamed that they've been conned by these people, that they've Mm. had marriages ruined, that they've lost friends purely because of their obsession with what they think is the best thing for humanity. Now, that's nothing to be ashamed of. And I think this this is like the, for me, this is what the aim of this part of the podcast was, was to to convince people that you don't have to be ashamed. We've not been ashamed of it. It happened to us. We found out, we figured it out, but we didn't just slink off into the distance and let them carry on. No. We dug no. in 
and we chased them. We we hunted them down. We we were obsessive with it because this is how they operate. They can go for decades doing this, bringing in and you getting a, and drawing in a new batch of people every single time. So there'll be people who figure it out. We're we're all different in our ways and, and methods of figuring things out. Some people it might take a few weeks, others it might take a year, and others it might take five years. But sooner or later, people generally do figure it out. But there's always a new batch of people who want a fresh start and a new, new life, and they want the best for humanity. And they just see these people offering it. They don't look back. They don't look back to see what things have been said about them in the past because nobody's doing this nobody's leaving public records for people to do their own research and say hang on a minute what's the, the new flavor this month is uh mrs so-and-so and she's what's she claiming to be the savior of the planet oh brilliant hang on let me just see on youtube or let me just have a, have a look on google and just see if there's anything that's come up about her in the past because it's normally it's been wiped away or people just decide to call it a day or they just don't do anything. Now this is where Team Bubba are a lot different. We are aiming to keep everything as a public record that's freely available for everybody and anybody. That includes our Facebook page and that includes upcoming podcasts on YouTube. And this, this is the aim of what we're trying to do. We need everybody's help with this. We don't want others just walking away and thinking with a tail between the legs saying, you know, I, I, I can't say anything. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to stand up and say, I were caught out by this. There's, there's no shame yeah. in it. But we've got to, as humanity, we've got to help others with this, I think. They need our yeah. help and we need their help. We need the help of others. And, and I think this is, this is for me, is the aim of this is to encourage people to, to do this to stand up yeah help yeah. us out help help everybody else out help them not go through what you went through yeah i mean Please. some i don't know what the percentage is but i would assume a lot of people come out like you say feel silly feel bloody hell we've got a heavy breather in the room <laughs> Sorry, Steve. I've got to say something. You need to just get back from the mic a bit. Your microphone volume is really loud, and <laughs> you can is hear it? your breathing. Apologies. Quite enjoying it. I had. I've got to say something because I could hear it all the way through bars and talking. Just shows how professional we are, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, leave it in. Just show this is us. This is us. Yeah. Raw. We don't yeah. edit stuff. No, we're not. So, editing, yeah. yeah, like. Like you were saying, Baz, I would imagine most people come out and they do just want to get the hell out of there and, and have nothing more to do with it. But there will be some who are like us, who, you know, if if you get punched, you want to bloody hit them back, don't you? Mm. We've got to give them that platform. Even if it's a swift, quick be kick yeah. between the legs before you run off. Yeah, that, even, that, that even if help. you don't hang about. Yeah. Just just leave your mark as a record. So if someone if they're still scamming people, which I'm sure they will be in two, three, four, five years time, leave your mark as a comment. Well, well we can explain what we're going to do in a minute, but leave your mark as as a public record, which will count towards along with everyone else's comments where future people who who are getting pulled into a cult and they think, hang on, I'm just going to check these people out, put the name in YouTube, up come this, our, like, our video basically, and read the comments and you'll just see it. It'll be like looking at a review on a buying an Amazon product. It's, it's, that is the con concept we're going to go mm. for. It's going to be like a review of these people. And, and this is not just Kim. This is we're going to go after everyone, mm. everyone in the alt media who are scamming people. We yeah. are coming for you. We're so going to expose the lot of you. We don't care who you are. We don't care how many mm. thousands of people you've got following you. It's going to be on to them to prove to us and the people that this is what's going on, and that yeah. they can, and that they can prove it, because they don't prove anything. 
and that that's that's the problem that we have with all of this they they whenever any claims are made against them or whenever anybody says i want you to show us show us what you're doing they go don't, i don't have to show me you show me that i can't and all the followers go yeah you're right show the count and it's like but you're not seeing what's going on here. They, they are mm. putting, giving you absolutely nothing except words. And this is what we're going to, we're going to uncover this with anybody and everybody. Nobody's off bounds. Nobody. No. Yeah. And but just to remind people, it, it's not always about money. When we talk about scamming, it, it there's a little bit of money. It's these people that we, we're talking about can they also take your time. They'll take your energy. And what I mean by energy, you will be left kind of weak because they'll break you down. They'll give you some information. And you, you'll probably be in, I don't know, it's loads of people now calling it a cult. You'll be in there thinking you're going to get help from them. And one particular per thing that's, I mean, I want to bring this up now, actually. It's one of the comments. Um, I won't say their name, but one person said that, there was um, for a while seven. I think this, she said, or he said, there was seven months in, um, in with Kim worked with Life Force trapped in there for seven months, and they were promised that they'd get help with their CPTSD, but instead they they just got all of their artwork stolen. And this is during the um, development of their news Life Force uh, channel. Yeah. I mean, that's the kind of thing where someone's going through post-traumatic stress disorder. They're being led to believe they're going to get some help, but they don't. And and that feeds the trauma even more because now they've been, you know, you, you feel like you, you want to give your time, your energy to this project. But what they do is they've stole that now. And on top of that, they've took your artwork and other things that maybe you might have com contributed to it. We've heard it quite a lot. Not long ago, there was, uh, I can't remember the, the, the woman's name, but she was part of the legal side of what we were tank. And, yeah. you know, they ended up stealing money, taking money. And there was, they thought that money was going to be going towards good causes. We've heard it quite a few times, but it, it, it's not always about money. It could be because they've, they've well, someone that's in in this cult. It's it's um, breaking the family up, and and they're the, the kind of things we want to hear as well. Sorry, they guys. Steal well, ideas yeah. as well, don't they? Tiny done that. Yeah. Yeah. Numerous occasions. Yeah. And that that can be something someone's worked on for years, like they might have invented something. And they share it with him, and he steals it. Yeah, and he'll it's always crazy. say it's uh, it's it's come from a download or <laughs> his intel from someone. They've got mm. a pe these people have got away with it for far too long. They've had a they've had a free roam for far too long. We're going to keep it as clean and as concise as we possibly can, so that we can never get reported, so that the the channel can never be taken down. Yeah, yeah. It's, we're not looking. It's not a bullying thing. It, nope. It's a, like you said. Nope. It's a platform to get people to come and share. There's no. There's no other. This is a great, I think, opportunity for people to come forward. I don't see anyone else doing this in the alt media. You know, why aren't they? That's, that's yeah, the question. I mean, come on, everyone. We don't want to be the only ones doing it. Everyone, get out there and do it. Yeah. Because these people have got to have the light shone, shone on them. It's, it's the only way change, you're gonna stop. It? It's the only way you're gonna stop people falling for this crap. Because mm. look, let's let's get it back to the basics. What what we're gonna do is we're gonna shine a light on them, and we need people to come forward and leave a review of their experience with these scammers, right? If you were to go on Amazon and buy a, a product, and and it's all dressed up, it looks absolutely fantastic. The price is brilliant. The artwork's amazing, photography's amazing, and maybe have a video on it. looks brilliant. And then you scroll down, and it's got one star and absolutely endless amounts of people complaining about how crap that product is. Mm, Would you yeah. buy that product? No, of course you wouldn't. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get... We, 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 and this is why we need 
people to come forward. If if we you've been scammed by these people, though, as well, don't we? Sorry. We need them to be. We need people to be those reviewers that leave reviews, not just those that after they've bought it go. Well, I'll vote with my feet then. I'll never buy from them again. No, you, you need to speak. You yeah. need to let people know not to get involved with that particular product. And these products yeah. is uh, well, their product because it is a product that they're selling. Definitely, they may yeah. not feel like it, but it is. That's exactly what they're selling. And they're, yeah. they're coaxing people in, and then they 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 get your confidence. Or they give you some sob story, one or two sob stories, make you feel like you're making a great difference to everything, and then they ask for your help. And then you hand over whatever you can hand over because you feel like you're doing the right thing. And that's amazing for people to do that as a mm. as a as a as a worldwide population for for people to want to do that is amazing. But these people are taking the liberty. They are really abusing those that, that people in those situations who are willing to help because they're just taking everything that they're willing to give. And part of it as well is these other websites, YouTubers, who host interviews with these scammers. Let's let's not be let's be not beat about the bush. We know what we are. Team Bubba, we've got a bit of a reputation of being who we are, and, and this is what we do. We won't beat about the bush, but when we present our information, we might be coming from sort of one side of it, but if, if even if people have had a good experience, tell us. Tell us. We want to know if there's people who've had a good experience with these people. Yeah. The, the, it, yeah. Go, well, sorry, Baz, carry on. Oh, no, no, you're right. Well, yeah, when I say we want people's comments like... A review this is for both sides of the fence we invite mm. people who are in the cult please if you believe these if you've had nothing but a positive experience with these people come and tell us this is what we're saying we want to see yeah. how it all balances out but if you're going to come to us with positive you got to have you got to be able to back it up with something because part of part of the the video attached to this concept is going to be we're going to take a look at all the claims that these people have made over the years and then we'll have a look how many have actually come true so if you're going to come to us with a positive review don't just drop it in there saying oh they're wonderful blah 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 leave us a story leave us a story of how how they've donated money to you or whatever you know this is this is not just we want to bash the hell out of them we no. want a true reflection of what damage they've done and what good they've done. Just like you would get on a on a review of a product, yeah. you'll always yeah. get some good, some bad. But at the end of the day, before you hit that buy now button, you weigh up how many good ones, how many bad ones. And if it's if it's nine bad ones and and one good one, or ninety bad ones and ten good ones you still won't buy that product. That is what we're looking for. We just well, need to here. leave a, a visual... Oh, alternative... Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, you're This right, is how Baz. unprofessional we are, though, isn't it? This is how Yeah, carry on, Baz. I'd, we are so I'd passionate pretty about much. this, aren't we? All of us are. We're so passionate about it that we can't wait to speak and say something at that point across the really we should <laughs> yeah, sit, yeah. sit and wait a little bit and let people finish. Put your hand up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But no, it's it is. It, it's I've lost what I was going to say now. I really, I, I have, but I had I was, I was sat here chomping at the bit to say something. It's like no, it's gone. Yeah, it's that's gone. why you should it's just gone. jump in because you'd forget, yeah. mate. So I oh, don't ju jump in if you've got something to say. Jump in. Yeah. But, but yeah, so oh, that's that what it. that's that what we're going to be doing. Just come back to me. All we're hearing right from from these other YouTubers who have them on as guests. Nobody grills them. Nobody really, really grills them. All they do is give them the uh, chance to speak. Nobody asks them uncomfortable questions. They, whether they have a discussion on them beforehand and say, I, I don't want you to ask me this or that or this or this, or I'd prefer to just talk about that today. Nobody says, I've heard this. I've heard you've done this to such and such or to, to this group of people. Nobody 
puts them in that kind of position. So all you hear is what they're telling you is the good stuff. And from yeah. our personal experience, there is more bad stuff from our personal experiences than good stuff. Yeah, you know, we just want getting, to be proved just highlighting wrong. the good. I, yeah. I want people, I want there to be loads of people out there trying to do good. I want a lot of these, these what they call truthers and scouts, truth and stroke scammers. I, I want some of them to be able to be to prove to us that they are doing good. And if they are, fantastic. We'll promote you, we'll, we'll let you carry on and do what you do because that's what we want as well. We'll apologise. And we'll apologise publicly. Yeah, you're right. We will. Because let, let's be honest about this. We are only going to pick targets who who we think or we believe are scamming people. Yeah. We're not going to uh, yeah. target people who we think may be on the fence or are actually doing good. This is about shining the light on people who we believe are probably scamming people. Hmm. And if we've got it wrong, if it turns out that actually there's 900 um, positive comments and only 100 negative comments, then we will apologise. As long as them 900 comments can actually provide a little bit of evidence that they are, and it's not just hearsay. Because at the end of the day, anything, you know, we can't guarantee the comments what come in are true. There's bound to be some lies in there. There's bound on both sides of the fence, positive and negative comments. So we can't, we, we've just got to hold our hands up and say, look, this is just the public reacting to, to this video. You know, what's true, what isn't, we don't know. Do we? Other, unless no. they they comment something that we have got knowledge about, but in general, a personal experience, we don't know if they're going to be telling the truth. Just like when you buy a product online and you read the reviews, yes, of course, there's going to be some in there what are false on both sides, but you have to sort of gauge it, use your own common sense and intuition, and think, yeah, I'm going to buy that product. Or no, I'm going to leave that product alone, and that is the, that's what we want to try and create. We want to leave a visual um, review of these scam artists, so when people come along in the future and they, oh God, this video's good, I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to put Kim Gugon in the search bar because I want to see more information or see more interviews with her. Up will come this video, and then they're going to think, whoa, hang on a minute. Mm. Look at all the, the look at all these bad it? comments. Ooh, I'm stepping back from her. That's why we, we need your help. We need it. We need you to push the buttons. We need you to say yes, I like that, and I'm going to subscribe to that because mm. that pushes us up and that it pushes you up the ratings so that people can see you. And when you go, other people go searching for the same stuff that you would fell foul to. You'll be we'll be up at the top there saying. This is what happened, and the, the the comments will be full of people giving a balanced opinion. Yeah, and they can make their own choice from that. Yeah, but as um, it stands, they got they're not allowed to make a choice. They're guided down this path by these by these scam artists. Just they're not even artists, are they? I don't even I hate that phrase. Because they're just not. To be they, fair, they, I no, I craft, think they are bads. It is a skill. Yeah, it is a guy. skill. Yeah, it's but not. not it's not a great artists. skill. No, but it's oh, a, no, it's not no. a skill to be proud of. But it no. is a skill to be able to con someone with a straight face, and not just do it like five minutes, ten minutes in the street. The, these people yeah. are doing car it constantly, salesmen. and like this is why salesmen. some people cannot bring themselves to believe that they've been friends with these people for five, six, seven, eight years. And the whole time, they've been two-faced. They've been lying to their faces. They yeah. have Zoom. Yeah. They have private one-to-one -one Zoom calls with them, and they just can't comprehend that, that that he's been scamming them all along, or she's been scamming them the whole time. Yeah. But they do. That's exactly how they operate. They're, it they're is like a actors, skill, aren't they? They're it, very it, good. It is a skill. Yeah. They're good at acting. They they've got you know no remorse. Are they acting, and, though? 
are they just uh, well, well this I is think, the whole psychopath thing isn't it the well it could narcissist. be but i think there's some acting in it because they are really good at convincing people um from from my i mean that right there are some that are like i think comes from a psychopathic level but there are ones there they're they're so convincing yeah maybe they do maybe it's the, the psychopathic things is that they believe it themselves mm. could be that I, do, I don't think it is yeah good point yeah B- but billy quite so often convincing. billy quite often talk about how that they believe it themselves don't they yeah he yeah. said that many times and it, he could well be right that they, yeah. they live in this fantasy world where they believe what they're saying. I don't think Kim does, but I think the people, her, her second in commands, I think they do believe some of it. Mm. Oh, I don't know, it's crazy. It's absolutely. But anyway, these people need... So we we are obviously got a few names on the list already. So if you... If, if you've got anyone we want to take a look at, because what we're going to... Should we just ex- quickly gloss yeah. over how we're well, going to present it. the video? Yeah. Because it's yeah. not just got to be a video where we name them and then say, oh, come, we're going to actually... It's going to be a bit of... Con, you know, it's going to have a um, a model about it. Theme so it. Mm. A theme, yeah. So basically, of course, we'll name them. And then we're going to take a look at... Um, what they were doing before they come on to the alt media. So how did they come about? Uh, what else we got to look at, boys? We're going to look at the claims they've made. Yeah. The rise in the to past. where they're at. Yeah. Yeah. Also who they're involved with. Yeah, associates. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Who they have been involved with, who they are involved with. We're going to look at the revenues they pull in. So what revenue streams that they're pulling in, donations, um, do they sell products? Any which... positive side to it <laughs> as well? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll, yeah. we'll look at everything. Yeah. If we can find yeah. yeah. We'll look at everything. And we'll, what will that probably take? Best part of an hour, I would say, to yeah. sort we'll of try and go give them through short, all that. As short as we possibly can without yeah. going yeah. into far too much detail, because we don't, we we get into these these podcasts that we've done before. Um, they they can go for an hour and a half, two hours, um, and sometimes you can you can lose people in that because we're not professionals. We've not got agendas. Nothing's written down. We just come and we we speak. I think we're getting we're all getting a little bit better at it. There's very little erms anymore, and there's there's a couple of gaps, but that's hey, oh, it is. We're not in the same room looking at each other. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But yeah, the the, the 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 main I think the main crux of it is we're going to be asking a question, really. We're going to be asking, because this is basically what they refer to in all of their claims, is are they light or are they dark? Are they good or are they bad? Bad. Hmm. It's, they they can't be on, they've got to be one way or the other, haven't they? Yeah, they weren't yeah. only going to be looking at the ones like, like Laza said earlier, not the ones sitting on the fence. It's the ones yeah. that are quite obvious to us that there's something not quite right there. They need to be looked at, and for us to understand it better, the people that have, have actually experienced it. You know? Yeah, this is why we mm. have. This is only going to be any benefit for future people who could possibly fall for this. This is only going to help them. If people come forward and just drop a comment, just drop a comment of your experience into the comment section of each one of these. So if you've if you've if you've been in like THI for two years and you ended up coming out because you worked out he was a he was a con artist, get in the comments and and give us your experience. Tell us what what happened for you to work it out. How did you get in there to begin with? You know, how did you come across them? Yeah. What was your experience in there? I mean, most people mm. say it was a good experience because it is all based on lies. Everyone thinks they're so virtuous in there. But then yeah. when when reality starts to, to descend on you, when you think, hang on, and certain things happen, tell us, tell us how it happened. 
or you might have a really negative we've witnessed loads of um, negative experience inside that cult when someone dares ask questions and then they get massively attacked on a personal level and on a public level to the point where private messages get shared by the cult leader which is disgraceful yeah. i mean for me that is really a low blow that is well the aim of that is to cut that person off from the community that they thought they were a big part of yeah because all the others all the other followers believe that leader kind of the, the leader the head of it all they believe everything they say and if somebody challenges it he will out you in front of those friends those people that you classed as your friends because you've been talking to them you've been chatting with them online you've been meeting up with them or whatever you've been doing but now the head honcho has turned around and said i'm sorry but you believe this and that and you've said this and that and here look i've got this message from you that says this and they will he will shut you out and then they will kick you out of whatever group you're in and you cannot go back you cannot fight back you cannot you're not allowed back in to, to give your side of things and then he will then spend the next few, or she will spend the next few days talking about you to the rest of the group, saying how bad an influence you were. He pointed it out ages ago. He's known for a long time. We just had to get rid. And by this time, everybody Agent. else has gone. Brilliant. Yep, get rid. We don't want uh, that yeah. kind of person in here. No matter how much of a friend you thought they were to you, they're not anymore. We had it when we left THI. When people found out. We had it. Blocked. The minute yeah. we went out of THI, we were blocked by people who I thought were actually decent folk, but they weren't willing to listen. And you're also not allowed to talk about certain people in there? No. I, that's not. what happened to me. I put a post in THI, and Thomas Williams hated this person and said, how dare you post that in here? Do not post this in here again. And that kind of like was the, how it triggered for me. I was like, what? Do you know what I, mean? I think it was something to do with the UFO community. I can't remember what it was, but he, he was really angry about it. And if you start talking about certain people that he has a grudge against, like, have he didn't, haven't they banned things spoken about Kim now? You're not allowed to post oh, things yeah. about Kim and Tank. Yeah. So, I mean, it's only not he is, group, though. He's always oh, yeah. talking about them. Yeah. But. So um, another one I was going to say, um, Laza, you can you know about more about this is how when people like our videos, how that works because when people leave their comments, we want people to see this at top of the search things um, search pattern, don't we? So when people like our videos, how does that work so people can contribute and then see that well if we like this video then more people are going to get to see it because we want to help more people well base well as i how i understand how youtube algorithms work if you po if you we post a video up the more people that interact on that video whether us like it i don't even know probably dislike as well i don't know but definitely like like comment and share then that that's telling youtube that people are watching this video because all they think about is they want people to stay on their platform so if people are watching your videos then youtube like that so they'll boost your ranking they'll boost your ranking so they'll push it out to more people who are putting say like kim Google on thomas williams in the search bar will be higher ranked which means more people who potentially could fall into their clutches and hand money over to them they might get to see our video if we're higher ranked and that could be what stops them falling into the trap which is why we have to get people interacting on these videos and leave not just, but although a like is brilliant a comment, a comment is of better. your experience mm. is what we're really looking for here that is what we need you need to look at it like it's a product and you're leaving a review for others to see that review and then collectively with everyone else's reviews they will clearly build a picture of what these people really are and i'm sure we're going to learn a lot if we do get people 
leaving their experiences. So, I mean, I mean we, we haven't got a lot of um, experience with other these other names, so we, we're going to learn what these people are about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But also, what we're going to we're going to uh, get across in these um, in these um, in this series is you're going to pick up the traits of all these people because they all hold the same traits. And this is how we know who is and who isn't. Um, or who we believe to, to be scammers and who aren't because they all have the same traits. So, and that will come across. I mean, that could probably be one of the features we look at, what traits, what common traits. And then as people watch the videos, they'll get to to realize god oh, yes that guy i'm following now he's ticking all them boxes mm. i'm gonna have to start questioning him do you know what yeah. i mean so yeah no, we need your help people that, get in the comments put names yeah. in the comments who you think we should take a look at um we've already probably got five or six on the list yeah um who will do first we want to go after the bigger names first and then maybe if you know if we go through literally all of them and then we'll come back in a year's time and we'll take a look at them perhaps we can do a, a follow-up video in six months years time take mm, a look yeah. at all the comments and then have you know a second look at it and say did we get this wrong here are these good guys and this is the thing isn't it? we want them those people to know that we aren't going away no, we're not. Uh, absolutely not. We no. are like dogs with bones or without bones or whatever the phrase is. We will not put this down until we've brought some people to task for what they're doing. Yeah. At the minimum, we're going to hit them in the pocket. We're going yeah. to we're going to uh, limit the amount of people they can scam. That's what we're going to do as a bare minimum. Yeah, we've already done that. I mean, look at the state of Tiny now. When we left there, his his groups were absolutely... That it was, you know, it was a well-oiled machine when we come out of there, Baz, yeah. weren't it? it well, he, yeah. he, everything was hunky-dory in the garden. Him and Kim were getting on well. Um, loads of people were interacting in the <laughs> chats. He had and a, in, he was in, in Facebook. Now look at a, the state of him. He was in. He was invited onto radio shows as well, other people's radio shows. Then, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, then we came out and went after him, and we did. We've literally destroyed him. He's down to about twenty to thirty people following him now, fully. Isn't he? That's all he's yeah. getting. In, yeah, the ones that are really active, and he's yeah. already dumped Facebook, which. Uh, we could never believe the figures, but apparently the Facebook group on there was like 5,000, 6,000 members. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and we won't go into details, but no. the, the breakup between him and Kim, we had a big hand in that as well. Oh, oh yeah. We turned, I mean, you two might not even know, but we turned you two right over and you didn't even realise it was us. <laughs> <laughs> That's for another time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we touch we're sneaky, right aren't we? We're a little we're bit very sneaky. sneaky. We? We've we we've, we've once bitten, twice shy. Well, yeah. they, they can only blame themselves, especially you know you going around accusing people of some of the worst things that without no proof they're only going to come back heavier, aren't they? Yeah, and destroy yeah. you. And I think we did a pretty good job on that. <laughs> yeah, and we so, still haven't heard any any uh, <laughs> seen any proof. And uh, we've also told them when you when you're gonna say who we are, then type get yeah, onto we, your. <laughs> we keep offering, you know, yeah. reveal who our identities. If you if you want a and and the evidence you claim you got against us, you've had it for yeah. two and a half yeah. years now. Release it. Yeah, come on. Tell everybody. Show everybody what what's happened. What what's, is, what we're supposed to have done. Come on. I've already I've already revealed my identity, and and they still can't find me. <laughs> no, because they claimed you were someone else. <laughs> exactly. If they admitted to, the, to me being who I was, they can't. 
They were wrong in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Well, we it was all a win, was win, it? Wasn't it really? <laughs> well, we they all had two goes Eric. actually, didn't they? <laughs> Did it? Yeah, I'm still waiting for my paycheck from Eric Prince and Blackwater and whatever else we've been told we Did work you? for. <laughs> Did you not get yours? Hey, why well, you got yours? Um, yeah, you know, there's a hot tub out back. There's a very beautiful swimming in pool. Well, yeah, well, this is why I can't stay on much longer. I thought you was living in your mum's basement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting up to no good. That was the claim, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, the claim. Mental. And you, where, where did you, where were you out of? New York, probably, weren't you? Yes. Oh yeah, and I and I was yeah. living in California. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we know. Do we know who he is? We know you. I knew you worked for IBM, and uh, was it out in California? And I thought, oh my gosh, you don't yeah. you know who we you are. Absolutely no idea. You're not gonna oh me. my gosh, I really thought they were going to come out and say, yeah, you're this and yeah. And I thought, I did, I'm quite impressed, but I'm actually <laughs> laughing my ass off. <laughs> yeah, and we're still in the. Me, we group. That's how good it they are. Yeah, still in there. We are interacting, <laughs> interacting with with you know keeping it all going. He has no idea we are in me. We we are cl- very close to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's brilliant, isn't it? That's that's payback. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's will payback. always be the thorn in the side for for all of yeah. them. Actually, as time goes on, we'll we'll, we'll get better at this. And we'll apply yeah. our different skills to different people, and we'll um, show them um, what they've, what Kim and Thomas have tasted, and they'll, they'll not like it. Yeah. Yeah. So we can only do it, and we, to be fair, we've only really done ninety percent of what we've done with the help of the people who came out, because yeah. we obviously started the ball rolling um but as people were coming out out of these cults they were coming into our group sharing information and that is how it all really happened if it weren't for the for the victims coming out and i'm not obviously most didn't because even some after finding out they were con artists some of them still believed what they'd been told we were yeah didn't they? they Some know. of them That's still true, believed yeah. that we we were agents, yeah. um, even though that what we'd been saying, they just realised was true. But they still had this belief that we were agents. But a lot did come out, join our Facebook group, and they were helping us behind the, the scenes, like round the back, where we were doing investigations into no end of things. And we couldn't have done it without them. So yeah. if you, any of you are listening still, thanks for your help. Yeah. And um, please get in yeah. the comments when we when we uh, drop these new videos. Get in the comments, share share your experiences. Um, and don't just leave it at one comment. If, if, you, if you leave a comment and then you think of something else a couple of days later, put another comment in or edit the one you've already put in. Reply um, to other people's comments. Yeah. Interact yeah. with each other. Yeah, interact. Connect with each other. Connect. That is how yeah. we are gonna gonna get on top of these and save other people from it. Oh, they're, they're not alone. These people that no. have been attacked and these people that have been duped. They're not alone. There's lots of us. Just they don't speak up. And so also get in and connect. Also, this also applies for for like the partners. Um, I mean, we've already had some approaches, but. This is not just first-hand experience. If you've, if you, if your husband, wife, has has been in there, and you've ended up having a marriage relationship breakdown, anything like that, or even a friend, put the experience in the comments. Allow future people, future potential victims of these people, to see what destruction is happening. Because this is real life. Because they're they're coming out with stories every well, Kim seem to be coming out with them every day. But every week they come out with a new story and they're just stories. That's all they are. You're paying donations yeah. to hear a, a nice fantasy fictional story every week. But w- the result of this is real life people's lives are being destroyed. 
because they believe in these fictional stories. And this is the side we want to make public. Because at the minute, it's not public enough. People can't see the destruction what's being left behind mm. by these people. And that's what we're trying to achieve here. We just need to leave a footprint online, which when they search videos of these people, it will come up and it will stop these people making the same or falling in the same trap we did. That's all we're trying to do here. And we encourage mm. other channels to do the same. The more there is out there, the better. In yeah, fact, if there's any other channels out there who want to um, connect with us, come approach I'm, us. Mm, approach I'm sure us. there will be when the more of these people we um, expose. But also, I was going to say, if you're actually in the team working very closely with some of these people and you want to whistleblow, you know some information, you you know, you what you want to share, or you don't think they're doing the right thing. We, we've got an email address, which we'll share in the video. Um, get, let us know, you know, get in contact. We do, we, you know, we're very, very good at keeping people's identities out of it. If that's discreet. what they want. Discreet. Yeah. It's very discreet, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, we have never once released anyone's name or any information we've been getting. I mean, we know loads of stuff. Yeah. about these about uh williams we know loads of stuff about him that we've never made public because the people told us in confidence and they didn't want to make it public but we know stuff about what you've been up to tiny it's like the lovely lady who's um husband now they've split up we know her name she's not allowed well we've not asked but she's not said don't release my name but we just haven't released her name because she's not given us the go ahead to release a name, and, and that's how we um, we look at people's privacy because everybody's allowed a private life. That this is the whole point. Yeah, and These that's quite that is quite a step. personal thing as well, isn't it? Yeah, like it is. Having yeah. the details yeah, of your marriage breaking up. It is. Um, we've had we've had a few emails off her, and I've, I've we've read some of the, the the bits out, and then other bits I thought. I'm not going to read that because I think it's that's too personal for me to say. If she wants to come on and, and, and leave a message and, and talk to us and say, this is what happened and these are the names and these are the times and these are the figures and the amount of money that we've it's been given and this is why we broke up, that that's up to her. That is up to her. Yeah. Um, but we'd never, we'd never betray anybody's trust. No. No, and we've, we've met a lot of people along the way, like, in round the back like that, haven't we? We've, ha I mean, we've yeah. had people who have been involved in their scams, like the the big scams approach us, and we've learnt stuff which we've never made public because we can't. Because we, we I, I don't know if you remember, we had one guy approach us, and he was trying to convince himself that it, because he was being scammed himself. I mean, we can't say too much, but um, he. He was he was trying to. We can say a little bit because, but that we'll, we'll bring that into one of the shows. Can you remember the one, one, one I'm talking about? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. It, we 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 were in a private chat with him for a number of days. Um, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, and, and and I think you left it where you pleaded with him to get out of it while he still could. Yeah, and he didn't take it very well, did he? No, he didn't. He didn't. Because yeah, he was he, meant he, to be a professional. He was. This, this is what he did for a living, and he thought he, the, this was how he could earn a, a shed load of money. Yeah, a lottery he, win, basically. He were, won it. He were. Um, but if he'd have, I don't know, if he'd have gone ahead with it, he could, he, he could have been in prison by now. Is he in mm. prison by now? Did he go ahead with it, and did he get caught? Yeah. yeah. We don't know, do we? We don't know. Don't know. Never heard from him since. No. And we've had sort of similar um, emails from people. One or two more as well, haven't we? From memory. Oh, Not yeah. Quite. Because, yeah. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> there were a number from Africa, weren't there? There were a number yes. From, from, yes. from Africa. Yeah. Where they'd been contacted by one of these people. We'll, we'll disclose more. We'll disclose more in, in one of the future shows, and it's probably going to be possibly the next one, which keep an eye out for it. The thing to do is like and subscribe. We're going to have to wind it up now. 
But yeah, yeah. yeah. We've been over just over an hour, but just I can't I can't implore him enough just to, to like and subscribe everything. Get get it get it on your list and then we're gonna start doing these shows a little bit more regular. We're gonna try and do an expose once a week, hopefully. Depends on how much work goes into each one. Um, with l- another little show in between or a little video in between just to try and the, 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 the content will be a little bit more regular now we've, we've, we've got a new lease of life and, and um, another aim in, in life and I feel reinvigorated like like I did when uh, when we came out of THI and when, when we saw what, what Thomas and, uh, and Kim were doing fully well it's, um, like, it's like we started and we never finished yeah yeah it's right you know, yeah. We, drew, yeah. we we let him off the hook a little bit, didn't we? We did, we did. I'm not bothered about Thomas Williams. He can he can go and whistle. No, I think I've we we him. did him. We did him. Yeah. We did him a good. One. He's, go he's got scraps now. now. Yeah. yeah. It, it it is like we did, we sort of took a foot off the gas. I mean, obviously, what was going on in the world had an input into that. But yeah, um, yeah, we've got some unfinished business. We're just gonna. I don't think these people will ever go away totally, which is why we're doing what we're going to do, because mm-hmm. they will always scam people because they operate just inside the law where the police, FBI, whoever, is going to is going to bother with them. They just yeah, won't unless, bother with them. Unless they really step out of line. Yeah. And they, they, they're very careful about how they do it. But they're just demolishing people's lives as they go through, as they plough through their life, uh, living the life that they they want to live while everybody else is is struggling. Yeah, yeah. and we just need their stories made public, yeah. as many as we can get, just to leave a footprint online to help stop people falling for this. Yeah, yeah, that's all we want. So, so share, that's, that's, like, that's comment, it. subscribe, please. Yeah, that's the thing to say. The final thing to say is just help. Help us, help everybody else. Hmm. Let's make this place, let's do what they say they're doing and let's make this world a better place by highlighting what these people are doing so that others don't go down the same route that we all did. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. then, guys. <clears throat> Thanks, uh, chaps, again. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, yep. always Cheers, is. Stevie. Always is, lads. And um, looking forward to the next one. Thank you for yeah. listening, everybody. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks.